host, Jay Rodman, continuing our Bard's Tale 3 adventure. Um, right now I'm right at the entrance to Scarabray, and I think I'm gonna try to finish mapping Scarabray for this video and then stop. I'm trying to keep them a little more sane length. My Mystic Shield ran out, I just reenacted it, recast it. save any time by telling it these are blocks. Yeah, that seems kind of better. Using a slightly different tool. Of course, it uh, presumes they're all walls. right there that I missed. I didn't even notice. This is the wind diver who sits at 20 feet and casts spells that um, don't seem to do much. Until you come closer. T 
22 damage. I like that number. The feeling of evil is foreboding. that were frozen that we'll get out of you went south and the tower his tower was down here it's not a perfect match but that's my best guess as to why that message is there it's sort of a callback Outside the mine. second, the second building. So while I fight, I will also make a map. What have I? Oh, I, I'm in the note tool. I'm trying to make notes. I mean, it's it thinks I want to make notes. <laughs> Sometimes you go into a building and there's something there that wants to fight you and you kill it and then there's something else that wants to fight you. Um, it makes me wonder, like, is there like a little line of them like waiting their turn? Oh, here's a third group. So there were hedge lizard. There was a hedge lizard and then another hedge lizard and then two hedge lizards. I feel like this is some kind of hedge lizard fight club. I'm a little confused as to why my shields are not lasting that long. Seven black hobbits. That doesn't sound wrong at all. The um, Amiga image for these enemies is so incredibly <laughs> racist looking. It's kind of hilarious. This one is not really a standout. Um, War Strike? Does she know War Strike? Yes. And I'm going to choose to have only one of my group spells. So this, they advance, and here comes the goose spell. Zap. Zap. So it rolls the damage for each of them individually, which I'm okay with. <clears throat> but it seems kind of unfortunate that it has to tell you those numbers one at a time, because, uh, well, right now it doesn't seem like that bad a property, but... We'll get to where it gets a little silly. So I cast the war strike again. I killed three out of four of the remaining. So we're we're down to one, and it's dead. Enemies in this game, I mean, I'm sort of okay with. Uh, I don't know, it's like we're like oozes or golems or something, where you kill six out of seven of them before they get to you, and they still the last one still fights you. But somehow, if it's just sort of a bunch of you know, naughty hobbits, maybe they're evil or something, and, and you kill almost all of them, 
I, I would think that last one would kind of run away. But no morale implemented in this game at all. I don't think. I don't remember any. Or at least, no running away. Far south am I? Am I at the right point on the map? Yes, yeah, six south. I didn't miss any treasure dropping. I was looking at the map, meanwhile. Now it's 7 south. And there's doors on both sides. But one further. And there's a... A wall here. And then I think it's all doors. We confirm as we go. Empty building. Side. We're loading, so... Yep. A serpent. Now, do serpents spit poison or just vipers? Breathe poison. Whatever. They breathed. I don't know what it was that they were breathing. Normally, you'd think it could breathe fire or breathe frost or gas cloud. I don't know. I'm not sure what of those things... Um, the Viper would do. Okay, the side of wall. The opposite side. Oh, there's no, there's no opposite side button. Lizards. Do hedge lizards live in hedges? Is this like hedge magician, like not very serious? I don't know. I don't know the etymology. If this was an Ultima game, there would be a book, and there would be an entry in the book that would tell you some pointless stories, or at least not game relevant stories, flavor text for all of them. But this is Bard's Tale, and Bard's Tale, we have an endless array of differently named enemies, far more than you could write meaningful text about all of them. Of course, uh, a limited number of actual animations to show. So, you know, green fangs and black fangs and hook fangs, well, they all get the same picture. Huh, I never really realized that these buildings here were the same buildings bordering the Grand Plaza to the north. And it's funny, because um, you can tell they're the same square. But uh, you can't go through. Uh, it's just, you always come back out with, with, with like houses slash buildings or whatever they are city areas. Uh, the rule of thumb is, I mean, not a rule 
blows up. The way it works is you always come back out on the same side you come in. I suppose it would be confusing if you went the other way. So, counting one, two, three, four open spaces. Just lines up with our expectations. One, two, three, four. the way they're displayed to us. Perhaps our cultural chauvinism perhaps prevents us from fully appreciating the subtle differences. Or maybe, you know, Commodores don't have that much disk space. So far, no, although we have a fight in this one. A helm? I wonder if it's like a standard... Is, is a helm an identified item? I think helms are very unusual in that... Um, basic helm is called helm, and any other kind of helm that is not identified is called helm. Sort of a little oversight. Sorry, that was a you can't equip it mark, not a you don't know what it is mark. 
So, it's a helm. Uh, let's try to identify the weapon. We failed. We will never be able to identify the weapon is the way it works. Uh, so if we try again, it just doesn't give us the option. There's no eye for identify once you've tried once. It means you just don't know what it is. Even if you knew what another one of that kind was recently. That's just how it works. So I'm going to drop it because I don't really feel like carrying around a weapon that I'm pretty sure isn't better than anything that I have and I don't know what it is. The helm, I'm going to do some tedious analysis. Who doesn't have helms? Because I sort of thought we would all start with them. So use one... Okay, so one Grisdak has a helm Grisnak. Two Oak Shield had us has a helm. Three. Uh my monk does not have a helm. I don't know if the monk can use them. Four. Okay, a bard has a helm. Most people start out with helms. But not a rogue, even though they can use it. I so even that the rogue's in the back line, I'm going to try handing this helm to my monk. Who can use it? Es equip. So now the monk's at minus two armor class. Uh, kind of now firmly in the lead. Or when the song's on, minus four. even though they're far away, because, I don't know, I probably could just defend. Some monsters can advance more than 10 feet in a round, so I tend to just attack without thinking about it. Um, this time, my other mage, my... Is this my conjurer? I don't know. It's going to cast Star Flare. And Starflare seems to do more damage than Warstrike. I can never remember exactly how they are. Like, they're very slightly different in power and very slightly different in how far they can reach. Um, at some point, when it starts mattering, I end up looking up spells in the books. Um, the Parcel 1 had no distance, and I played that one kind of maybe in my most formative time period. My, like, when the, my, mem like my memory of pointless detail was sticking the most easily and um, so the so I kind of have the Barca one information about all of the spells memorized for better or probably for worse but um, the distance information that started in Barstow one or sorry bar Barstow two I uh, I didn't really memorize the only memory is this this spell reaches up to forty feet and this spell can reach up to fifty feet. So I end up having to look that up. Also it's I I at one point did a lot of testing and I found that the menu was like wrong in a lot of those distances. Oftentimes not very wrong. Like it said it would reach forty, but it would actually reach sixty. Usually the game gave you more reach than the manual did. And then I did more testing and found that different versions of the game had different uh, off, off, slightly off values. Oh, so I guess um, my initial stated goal for this recording is complete because if I zoom out on the map a bit, uh, maybe leave. Oh, change focus. Um, our map of Scarabray is complete basically. I didn't put the east to west distances on them, but I'm not going to end up needing them much, and I don't care enough to do so. Um, I could probably also, at this point, uh, adjust the grid so that all of the... so that there's a clearly defined boundary around it, but I think all I'm really going to do is go to the floor control and bump it one this way so that it on the left side aligns. 
call that a day. I guess I want to get a smaller... Yeah, whatever. If I get a smaller image, I can move the numbers inside the box, and then when I export it as an image, this program will happen to... I kind of like this look more with like the hard line, meaning this is the boundary of reality, and these numbers are just indicators. Whatever, I'll just save it this way. Okay. Uh, well, before we call it... Um, Check how we're doing on experience. Uh, one more fight. Or at least one more fight. Yeah, so at this point you can see um, there's a pretty big gap between how much damage the uh, warrior, paladin, and monk do, which is all kind of sizable now, and the bard is doing pretty little. Some of that is because I think she ha our bard has terrible strength. I'll load her up here. No, not that str terrible, but f strength 15 significantly below the others. But a lot of it is, um... Oh, and also, she has some kind of Vorax or Broadsword or whatever, and they have, um, Halbards. Because Bards cannot use Halbards, even though they're spelled like Bards. Anyway, so there's two factors. But the main thing is, as these people continue to level up, uh, Paladins, Warriors, Monks... Is that the full list? Get do multiple attacks, and their amount of damage they therefore kick out. Like, they'll hit something three times. I don't know how they do it that fast. And the total damage they do rises very much. Whereas, um, single attack things like bards and hunters and rogues don't go up like that, and they, 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 get fall, they fall far behind in the number of damage points that kick out. Okay, so it looks like I did uh, get enough experience per level. Grisnak got dexterity. Not the best, but some armor class maybe. Oh, intelligence for a paladin. Yeah. Uh, strength for a monk is good. My bard kind of just would wish she would just get luck so she doesn't die. Luck and dex and constitution. Uh, strength for a rogue, I suppose, is useful. She'll start stabbing eventually. Uh, the mage's intelligence, that's ideal. And dexterity. And it looks like my next level up for the mages is 271, whereas some of the others it's 1,000 and 271. Okay. Call me here.